Call times for rural ambulance services can be much longer than those in more densely populated areas, leading to longer wait times before help arrives. With a decline in funding and interest in volunteering, many of those ambulance services can barely keep up with their call volume, which is what the Rural Ambulance Task Force is looking to address. There's a trend throughout the state where uh, ambulance services are closing or, or uh, not being able to staff themselves with volunteers or even paid staff at this point and so there's a lot of different challenges and reasons why that's happening and we're going to look at those reasons and hopefully come up with some solutions. Dean Romano with Rotterdam EMS was appointed to the task force Tuesday by Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara who also secured one million dollars in funding for the EMS service. The money will go towards replacing an aging fleet and upgrading the station, something some ambulance services across the state are also struggling with. And that task force is a critical step because it's going to allow us to uh, find those long-term solutions, uh, talk to people that work in the EMS field, uh, that run the ambulances, and what the challenges are, and give us make recommendations to the legislature on how we can support them and how we can stabilize uh, this life-saving uh, service. Romano believes to ensure viability and longevity of ambulance services, funding like the money secured by the assemblyman is crucial for those services. Well, EMS has never really been considered an essential service. Just recently they considered it an essential service, but that didn't come along with any funding. And really you have to just follow the money. Reporting in the Capital Region, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.